Hey, let's paint with me. This is going to be a little bit of like calming and relaxing video. Probably with less of talking, more of like a real time painting. I wasn't really like the best in painting, especially if it's in traditional canvas and paint, because I have no patience. So. The process of waiting for the paint to dry up was not the best moment for me. So I tried it out as digital art and I think I kind of like enjoy this. So yeah. So throughout this video, you will see me finishing this piece. And I think it's a, like a perfect ambience. Like it's raining and I'm painting. <sighs> It couldn't be better, like. And so for you to know I started dig taking digital art last last year that's mean 2021 so and I think I would say like I skip the part where I have to get better in traditional art so if I ever gonna try or make the traditional art um, it's not going to be good is not going to be like as good as what I did on digital art like I skipped that part where I have to learn traditional art before going to digital art and I think that's okay there's nothing wrong with that we all have like something that we prefer more than what others prefer more like I prefer digital art compared to traditional art because Digital art kind of like more cost effective for me like I just have to buy this device and then get a um, drawing app and then I could access any medium, any brushes, any color. So instead when it comes to traditional art I have to like buy that paint, that different colors of paint and the canvas and the brushes so yeah I think it is more cost effective when it comes to digital art throughout the one year of learning digital art i came up with couple lots of art style like i couldn't even stick with one and i think there's nothing wrong with not having an art style because i don't have an art style i just draw whatever i want to like like when it comes to me creating art I have to put myself in a space of freedom like there is no restrictions or the best or perfect rules because for me art is something that has a lot of flows it is like human but in art form and I think that what makes art beautiful the flows the the imperfections it 
the tiny details of flows is what make it an art. so it's a pretty long video so i'm just gonna like do a couple lots of voice over and have a chat with you guys so let's talk about creating and learning art since i am making art right now so when you start creating or learning art you have this moment where you always compare yourself with others or the one that you idolize or look up to the artist that you look up to so it's really common to compare yourself with others and it is not just applied to when creating art it's like worldwide problem like you compare yourself when it comes to beauty standards weight height everything the money you have, the device that you have, how aesthetic you are, just everything. Comparison is like revolves around the world. And as someone who loves, loves, <laughs> love is a big word. Someone that like to overthink and overanalyze every single tiny little details in their life and who they are as a person, that's me. And I think some of you guys probably most of you guys could relate to that as an overthinker or overanalyzer comparisons like hits harder than people that doesn't overthink so I'm not saying that I found the solution on how to overcome comparison and stop being overthinker or overthink about the tiny little details and comparing yourself with others but I think I found something that could help at least it does help me a little bit it was actually easy to do that just lessen up the exposure you s the time you spend on social media that you are most active at like for me instagram is the main social media that i use when it comes to our community so i just lessen up the time 
the amount of time I spend on Instagram so I don't have to look at other artists works like their works their goals their achievements and everything sometimes that can overwhelms you like you start comparing yourself and things like that so just lessen up the time you spend on the social media that could trigger your comparing mindset like for me if you still want to see other artists works or find reference pictures and things like that you can just go to pinterest because i think pinterest is like a safe place because there is barely any interactions in the comment sections or anything like that you just like pinned the pictures that you like the design that you like and that's just it you just just actually just looking at pretty pictures and save it that's all so there's nothing like pressure or tension in comparing yourself there
so we are almost at the end of the video i hope you do enjoy this video and find it calming or relaxing because that's what i want you to feel when you watch this i really love how this turns out and i will have the time lapse at the very end of the video if you are interested in looking at the time lapse so do let me know if you want to see more of me drawing like painting making art videos do let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video and do let me know as well if you want it to be like real time time lapse or voiceover or asmr like real time like real sound no music things like that lastly i want to say thank you so much for the best support from all of you guys i really appreciate it and really really grateful for all the supports that you've been giving me since the very beginning of this channel and yeah i will be back with the new videos so stay tuned for that and also there will be more video after this like don't want to expect like a drawing pending video from me because i would love to put more variation in this channel in terms of the video that i make so yeah here's the final look i'm so happy with how it turns out where's the final look okay this is the final look okay so the reference this is the reference picture if you look like it as a whole piece you can see that the eye is like kind of wonky and tilted but that doesn't matter because i really love the colors and the texture the depth the depth depth whatever it is the texture and everything little little tiny little i love it i love it so much so yeah thanks for watching i will see you again in the next video bye bye